excitement, with the fun, with the goosebumps. It's a big day for me. Thank God. So today is the graduation ceremony. It's just a little bit surreal that today, yeah, we're really graduating. <sighs> it was a good feeling. I mean, I wasn't expecting to be this happy. I'm very proud of myself and um, yeah. A lot of joy, a full room after two years. That was also fantastic. It's a mixed emotion. Actually, to be honest, I'm still uh, digesting the fact that this day has come. Yeah, and my family is uh, there here, and they're very happy. My brothers, my sisters, even my families, my children, they're all watching. So I did wake up with a pit in my stomach, all anxious. And it's even though it's a joyous moment, it's also sad that it's, it, it is also like the end of something. So I'm happy, I'm sad, I have so many emotions going through right now. You know, we've, I've been here for almost two years and you, know, you uh, make friends and you get used to the place and then now it's like, oh, it's done. Yeah, and then now what? <laughs> I started with chemistry and then creative technology and now spatial engineering. I think now I finally found something that's just really something I want to like work, work in later on. The long journey for me to end up being at ATC, I think 2008 I applied to try to come here, but I didn't get a scholarship. Then 2012, 2015, then 2021, that's when I got a scholarship to come here. So the first two months of ITC for us, it was very difficult due to all these COVID things. Then we finally reached here, but still the first year we spent most of our times inside the room. But I think second year just made it up for everything. <laughs> then we finally had gatherings, um, we could come to ITC, we could be in the cafeteria all crowded. It was really nice journey. I had a chance to meet the African community, the Middle East community. I made a friend from uh, Europe. So many different people from different countries. So it's really nice to see all the different outfits. This is a traditional, it's a barong Tagalog. It's the national costume dress of the Philippines for men. This is a sari, uh, a traditional sari that we wear in Nepal, but also in India, I think. But this print uh, is called a dhaka print, and it's uh, especially from Nepal. It's like a hand-woven print. Being here is a, it's a challenge. I don't want to lie to you. If you're a student being here, you have to be tough. Because I remember it, at one moment, I was crying alone in my room, yeah, because of the strain, the stress. My supervisors really, they said, they, they applauded me for that, for um, being able to, to uh, push through even during those difficult times. I mean, it's quite a milestone I've accomplished in my life, and um, I'm super proud of myself, looking at um, where I started from, and then how much growth and development I have achieved over the past two years is something worth being proud of. We gained so much experience with working together in project groups and I know that it's something that's also important for the future, kind of wherever you work. Feeling the confidence of just talking to my professors and having chit chat and going cycling with my supervisors, mountain biking. Having that opportunity to get to know your professors in a way that you wouldn't expect as some other cultures just try to have those sharp boundaries of like, you're my professor, I'm a student, but in here it's just like flat hierarchy. You, know, you continuously work uh, in a schedule, right? Waking up and you have to come to the class every morning, 8.45, join and work. Again, and when you finish your thesis, when you're done with the everything, and the next morning, oh, what should I do now? You know, like what? What's my plan? So immediately, I will be joining ITC as, as a researcher. So I'm working, planning to continue my work on my thesis um, to make it a publication. And after three months, I'm still uh, unsure of where I want to go. I, like by heart, I want to go back home because that was my plan since the beginning that I want to go home and work. Um, but then my professors also are giving me ideas on maybe you should consider PhD. <laughs> so I'm right now I'm just still deciding. So I don't know what happens after three months. I really miss some of them here, like uh, the craziness, the fun we had, and all the very best to everyone. It's like everyone was so 
amazing it's it was so proud to see each and every one i think more uh, like adventures awaits for everyone and more good things so i don't know when we'll get to meet or like see or each other or anything but i wish all the best and success in their lives